today I'm going to change oil on my Citroen C5. Here is the dipstick located and here is where you fill the oil. And behind here, down here, is where the oil filter is located. Normally you would take away this air hose before you change the filter, but I didn't realize how easy it was, so I will do that later. To uh, remove the filter you need a 27 millimeter socket and you cannot use this long extension there is no room for the handle when you do here it is 27 millimeter socket instead of the long extension I put a short gimbal and uh, that uh, works very well you have to be a little bit careful since the cup that is uh, holding the filter is made of plastic and as I said the air hose that you see behind my left hand it's really easy to remove uh, but I didn't know that at the time now the uh, filter cup is loose so it's just to screw it out When the hose for the air intake is there, it's impossible to see what you're doing. So here is the oil filter, there is a small nipple on the filter that needs to go in the right place when you put it back. The easiest way is to put the filter first and then the plastic cap. This filter is absolutely black so it has done its job. And uh, here is the new filter. Together with the filter comes a gasket. It's a square gasket, a square rubber gasket. It's uh, easy to change and uh, that needs to be done. To remove the air pipe you push the two levers on the front and then you twist it a quarter of a rev and voila it's out. I first put the filter in place and you can feel when it's in the right uh, position because it's kind of stuck there then. Then I put the cup over that I have now changed the gasket on. And then I screw back the filter in place. Uh, be careful because um, it is made of plastic as I said. And if you make something wrong it will break. So there it's done. Uh, you can feel when the gasket starts to grip because it becomes a little bit harder to tight. Don't tight it too hard. As I said, it's made of plastic. I checked the dipstick just to see how much oil there is in and it was uh, about half the way up. I will now use this little pump where you put the hose down where the dipstick goes and uh, you suck the oil out of the engine. Normally I would use the battery in the car, but I happened to use this pump on my tractor just a few hours ago, so the battery was standing there. I push down the hose about five centimeter deeper than the dipstick is long. And then I use a empty can so I can see how much oil I got out from the engine. It takes about 10 minutes to suck out the oil with this uh, pump, but uh, I will spare us that because it makes a terrible noise. So now all the oil is uh, out of the engine. I have pre-filled a can with four and a half liter oil, which should be the right amount for this engine. I will first put in about uh, four liter of the oil it's easier to add more oil than it is to uh, remove the oil. After I fill the oil I leave it for a minute or so so the oil can go down in the bottom of the engine.
then I check the dipstick to see that I have the right amount of oil in and in this case it's uh, not enough oil which is correct because I haven't filled all the oil in so I will fill the last half liter or so that I have in the can and after I fill this I will check again and see where we are on the dipstick and um, this time it is uh, close to the max level and that is good so that is how you change oil on the Citroen C5 please uh, subscribe that would make me really happy and if you feel like it push the like button have a nice evening goodbye